Radio Raheem here with Earl Spence turning up at Cowboy Stadium in Texas. What fight brought you out here? Why would you come out here to support? Um, oh, well, my Olympic teammate, Joseph Diaz, Joseph Diaz Jr., he's fighting on the card. And, um, you know, just to see the atmosphere and see, you know, this is my dream one day to fight at the Cowboy Stadium. So, you know, just to see all the fans that came out and uh, see the Canelo and uh, Leon Smith weigh in. I saw Clarissa Shields here as well. Did you yeah. get a chance to talk to her? Oh, yeah, I talked to her. I haven't seen her in four years since the, since the last Olympics. So it was good seeing her, catching up with her, see how she was doing. Well, obviously, this is a huge pay-per-view event, like you yeah. say, Cowboy Stadium. And this is a place you aspire to be doing headlines. What do you think it's going to take from this point in your career to get to this point in your career? Um, keep winning world titles. Keep fighting. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, Kell Brook vacate. You know, fight for the IBF world title and then, you know, fight guys like Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman, who's already stars, you know, beat those guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully one day I can fight here. Now, you think Kel Brook's going to vacate? You don't think he'll come back down and defend that title against you? Well, to his interview, his interview, he said he's going to vacate. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully vacate because I don't feel like waiting until next summer, to, you know, to fight him because, you know, he has a broken eye socket. So he's going to have surgery and that's going to take some time. Now, you saw that fight, obviously. Do you think uh, that he did well in that fight? How did you assess it once it was all done? Um, well, I thought he did better than everybody else expected. Um, and I actually put $400 on him. Yeah, I actually <laughs> bet it on him to, to win, you know, just because the odds are too good. So, uh, you know, but he did okay. He did good. Um, he did good enough to make a lot of, you know, middleweights call out uh, Triple G now. So. I mean, he did better than a lot of people expected. Now, if he doesn't vacate and comes down to defend that title, how's that fight going to go? Oh, well, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, we either had to, either if he comes to America or I go to UK. It's going to be a great fight, but I'm definitely uh, ending the fight with my hand raised. Now, if you get that title, or at least if he vacates that title, who do you have to fight to get that title? Um, I guess they got to go through the rankings like they did with the title eliminator. And, uh, you know, I think the Russian Panamov, whatever his name is, uh, with top rank, He's like the second or third ranked or something like that. So they have to go through him and then go through the rest of the guys. But right now, I'm waiting for the 10 days to be up to see what's, what's Kel Brook's decision is. So right now, we're just waiting. You know, a lot of guys that are looking to climb up and start them and make big money, the, the question is, are the titles more important or is the opponent, you know, uh, draw more important? Like you say, there's guys out there who maybe have a bigger draw but are not holding the titles that you want. When you're looking at that kind of decision, what's most important to you? Uh, the titles, you know, I want to be a world champion, you know, my ultimate goal is to be an undisputed world champion, so, you know, definitely the titles, um, with the titles, you know, the fans are going to come, and with the titles, the right fights are going to come, and the, and the best fights, like Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman, once I get a title, you know, there's no more excuses, oh, he's a prospect, or he hasn't fought anybody, you know, I got something that you want, or something that you would want if I didn't have it, so, you know. Now we see uh, Danny Garcia is uh, already tied up. Do you think? <laughs> what do you think of that matchup? And should he be fighting you? Uh, maybe not me because I'm tied up with the IVF <laughs> thing right now. But probably somebody else. I mean, you know, they criticize me and say, "Oh, why would I fight Earl Spence? He ain't fought nobody this and that." But you know, John Molina, I don't think he's ranked in the top ten in the WBC right now. But you know, I'm not gonna criticize him because. You know, hopefully, you know, it's a tune-up fight or just a stay-busy fight for him to fight Keith Thurman, you know, next year. So, you know, hopefully that's what it is. You know, he's just not fight John Molina just because. A lot of people, you mentioned it, you criticize people for what they call cherry-picking. Yeah. How do you avoid that criticism and still get your money and, and do your title defenses? Um, I mean, is, it fa is that fair criticism or are the fans, like, off base with these kind of comments? Uh, sometimes the fans, you know, they, look, they get a little bit too, they get a little bit crazy on social media with, with the cherry pick. <laughs> but, um, you know, you're always going to get criticized. But, you know, you got to fight, you know, the top fighters. Like, John Melinda not even, you know, a 147-pounder. You know, he's a 140-pounder. But, um, <laughs> you, you know, you know, Danny gets it the worst on social media with the cherry picking thing. So... <laughs> You know, he knows it too because he responds. So, I mean, if he's not bothered by it, you know, I don't care. That's not me. Now, let me give you a chance to break down some fights that fighters you'll never be facing. But coming up, we got Andre Ward and uh, Sergey Kovalev. That seems to be the fight most people are anticipating. How do you see that fight going? Oh, I'm going with Andre Ward. You know, I'm a big fan of Andre Ward. You know, and I, what he did in the Super Six, you know, fought those, all those different type of fighters, different styles, and still came out on top. You know, it made it look easy. You know, I think he'll do the same with um, with um, with Kovalev. Kovalev, he's a hard puncher. He can fight. You know, he showed a lot of different things with Bernard Hawkins. 
But I'm, I'm seeing Andre Ward just adjusting and, and pulling out. That's what great fighters do. You know, you mentioned the punching power of Kovalev, which is why most people that give him the fight give him yeah. the fight. But people are kind of surprised at your punching power. <laughs> you when you match up, if you were to match up against a guy named, like Kell Brook or um, you know Keith Thurman, do you think you're the hardest hitting at 147? Uh, I don't think I'm the hardest hitting, but you know I'm the most accurate. If I hit you enough times, you're gonna go down. <laughs> <laughs> you know I land almost like 50% of my power punches, so you know I think I'm the most accurate. I, you know it's not about you know if you can't hit nobody, you know. What's good is being a hard puncher. If you're accurate, if your timing is great, you know, you place your punches right, you know, you have decent power, you can stop somebody. So I just hit people in the right place and they go down. You're still developing, people are still learning about you. What is it? What, give me some facets of your game that people haven't seen yet or don't yet appreciate that you know you got skills with. Um, well, people really haven't seen me in the inside. You know, people have seen me in just a real, you know, gritty fight. You know, a fight you just got to buckle down and, you know, you're out in the middle of the ring or you might be on the ropes. You know, you just have to, you know, buckle down and just fight. Mm -hmm. You know, you dead tired, that opponent's tired, you know, it's blood and gut. So they haven't seen me in that yet, you know, and I'm waiting to show them. Radio Raheem with blood and guts, Earl Spence. <laughs> Good to see you, man, here at Cowboy <laughs> Stadium. We'll see you uh, ringside for the oh, yeah. fight. Oh, yeah, definitely. On Saturday, we'll see Canelo Alvarez and Liam Smith and blood and guts right here at ringside. <laughs>